Milan travel, travel to Napoli and destroy them 4-0. And as Brahim Diaz and Rafael Leal steal the show, and Alexis Salamakas scores a goal worthy of Maradona <laughs> in Maradona Stadium. Gab, is this going to impact the Champions League meeting? Uh, that's the big question. I, I think for Milan, yes, and you want it to impact. This is like, hey, we can't be afraid of these guys. Now, obviously, there was no Victor or Seaman. Um, from Napoli, you got to tell yourself, hey, this is due to happen. We're going to have a bad day at the office. That's a bad, that's a bad, bad day, though. But would, would you expect him? I mean, Milan switched to a back four and everything. You, did you expect them to be this good? I uh, expected them to play well because, to be honest, the last Napoli game I saw was when they played Lazio at home. And they lost to Lazio as You're well. This is Napoli's bad luck charm, aren't you? I'm going to try and tune out as much as possible <laughs> if they want to do well, yeah. A Moise Kian goal gives Juventus a 1-0 win over Verona. Gab, even with 15-point penalty, they're closing in on that top four. Uh, yeah, which is pretty remarkable um, in that game. Um, it's pretty remarkable, the transformation. I, what are you going to argue with Allegri? He keeps getting the points. I don't think they've developed... The one good thing in terms of development is he's thrown the kids in there. They've done the job. Miretti coming on, setting it up, uh, uh, s setting up Moiskan. But the development's not there. But you, you can't argue with the results. They, 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 they could still do, a, do the treble with Europa League, but still, it's pretty. Not, not sorry, not the treble. They could still. They're not going to win the league, obviously. Correct myself, but it's harder for for them to move on from Allegri now. And look, he's earned it. Yeah. Sticking with Juve, Alex Del Piero was in the stands and got a standing ovation from supporters. Nate him. It's no secret they want him to be the next club president. How do you feel about ex-players in that role? Are you ready to take over from Cal June when he <laughs> decides to move on as chairman of City? Um, I hope that Caldoun stays there forever so that I don't have to try and apply for that job. He's done, <laughs> done such a good job. But, but you will apply should he move on, won't you? Yeah, yeah, my application will go in. I just don't know if they'll see it, though. I just don't know if they'll see it. It's now three defeats in a row for Inter and they're after their home loss to Fiorentina. Gab, they slipped to fifth place. Romelu Lukaku misses a hat-trick of sitters and Simone Inzaghi's job is hanging by a thread. Yeah, you remember the one he missed in the World Cup? Like, the worst of the three is... I'm surprised. Why do you remember the ones from the World Cup? What? Just remember, forget that. Forget the World Cup. No, no, forget but the, 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 the worst of the three is like that. He's literally on the goal line. I think the XG for is like 0 0.98. And yeah. then somehow... Um, look, I I worry when teams and strikers don't get on the end of chances, right? Because if he hadn't missed any chances because he was never shooting on goal, like where we say, oh, look, Lukaku's building up his... He's on his way back. So there's part of that. But equally, you got to bury those. you got, you got to put those away. Inter look chaotic and disjointed. I don't think Fiorentina played that well at all. Um, this this is bad because this Inter are not in a good place financially if they don't qualify for the top four. And by the way, uh, if Juve gets their points back, they're in sixth place. Uh, so they they so got to turn around quickly. Win the Champions League and then you back in, yeah? Win the, yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, easy peasy, starting with Benfica. <laughs> Roma beat Sampdoria 3-0 and are back into fourth place. Nadim, Gini Vinaldum opened the scoring and looked great. He's endured a nightmare with injuries. Um, had a tough time after leaving Liverpool at Paris Saint-Germain as well. How important is he for Mourinho down the stretch? And what's the... I mean, basically, you do nothing for 18 months. It was, it was an injury thing. He just didn't play well for 18 months. Mm. He's 32 years old. Is, is there? Can you regain some of it? Yeah, I think you can. I think as you look at sort of today's football as well, some of those players who are quote unquote older, they have big impacts within their side. Just look at the voting for the Ballon d'Or last year, for example. The vast majority of the players are over the age of 30, so they know how to play the game. I think for Vinaldo, if he's not played well or been injured through that stretch, he's desperate to get back to the top. Maybe his top might not be where it was. Maybe. But if it's anywhere near it, then what, what a player to have for Mourinho who would want to rely on his trusted players to get them through this tough stretch of the season. So I'm happy he's back. Hopefully he can stay fit and you know Roma can see the best of him because I think he's a really good player. And maybe he'll win the Europa League. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.